How about that to get the weekend started? DJ Lil JF in the house with us today, bringing us in and out of the breaks. So thankful to have him here. And thankful for our next guests, too. Known for their roles in Chicago Hope and Hercules, my next guests are making a comeback to the silver screen in a whole new way. Joining me today are some of Hollywood royalty. Sam and Kevin Sorbo, thanks for being here, guys. We appreciate it. I don't know if I'm royalty, but it's not really a comeback. This is my 84th movie. Well, that you know what I'm saying. I mean, it's fun to see you back on the screen because we we love having you guys here. And, and I know growing up watching Hercules, like I played Hercules in, in the backyard almost every day. So it's it's fun to be talking here with you guys. Tell me a little bit. It was a lot bit. of fun. Seven years of my life. I didn't, I'm not, no complaints. A good yeah. time. I mean, and I never met anyone who didn't enjoy that show. So. Tell me a little bit about movie. this movie, Miracle in East Texas, set to premiere in October. How did this come to be? So Miracle in East Texas is actually a true story based on the East Texas oil strike, but it's a comedy because of the way that that strike was made by two scoundrels who were sort of bilking widows out of their life savings, mm -hmm. uh, getting them to invest in these basically fake oil wells, and then they accidentally struck oil. And it's not just an oil strike. It happens to be the biggest oil strike in the history of the United States of America. And uh, so we tell it as a comedy. It's a lot of fun. It's um, it stars my husband and John Ratzenberger and Lou Gossett Jr. and Tyler Maine. And uh, I'm also in it. And uh, it's just it's just a hoot. It's just a lot of fun. It's a family comedy. He's so. a PG rated written by uh, Dan Gordon. He's an Oscar nominated writer. He wrote the hurricane for Denzel Washington, writer, Kevin Costner. It's just a great, it's won 10 film festivals. Um, I, it's going to be coming out October 29th. Yep. In theaters. And 30th. And please go to sorbostudios.com. Sign up now. We're selling tickets right now. We need to fill up these theaters. It's a wonderful PG rated family movie. Yeah. And if you go to sorbostudios.com, you can sign up for our newsletter so we can stay in touch with you. And, uh, this is, this is a very exciting time because um, good quality cinema is making a little bit of a comeback, I think. so. Well, it's fun to have something that is family-driven, a family-driven comedy where people yeah. can go back together as families to the theaters. That's something that we've kind of been missing here of recent, you know, with the pandemic and everything else. But it's, it's fun to have something like this. I know uh, being married, sometimes doing things with my wife can be complicated. What's it been like for you guys working together on this film set and then also taking that home and all of that? Well, we worked together a lot. We actually met on the set of Hercules many, many years ago and uh, down in New Zealand. So we've been together 25 years, so we must be doing something right. <laughs> I figure in Hollywood, 25 years of marriage usually adds up about five different wives for guys <laughs> in Hollywood. So um, we're doing something that's doing okay. It works. We just yeah. make it. We just make it work. We have a lot of respect for each other, and uh, I think that's really important in a marriage and in any partnership. So, when you look at the cast, you guys were mentioning some of the names. Like this is a star-studded cast in a comedy like this. That's kind of something a little bit quirky and, and different, especially being family-oriented. What's it mean to you guys to have this this kind of cast join in on this project and, and really put their heart into it as well? You know, we got lucky that everybody came, became involved with it because <laughs> what I love about this, it is a true story. It happened yeah. right in the heart of the Depression. And yeah. uh, the facts behind it, there's even more stories behind this of what the oil did for World War II actually yes. as well. So. Um, the cast worked out great. John Ratzenberg and I worked, worked together years ago. We did a movie called What If? And uh, it was a wonderful movie directed by Dallas Jenkins, who's doing The Chosen right now. But this movie, oh. what? Go ahead. Well, I want to tell you, at the end of the movie, we put some of the outtakes. And John yes. Ratzenberger is just hilarious. And so it was just, it was a blast to have all these really talented uh, actors on set. It was just a blast. And I remember Mark John from Cheers. He played Cliff the Postman. Sure. He was so funny in that role. He's and, been in uh, every single Pixar movie. Yes, he's the voice of every Pixar movie. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I mean, that's the thing is, is for me personally, growing up with all of you guys who are in this film and, and getting to see you all together in this facet is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, again, the release date, October when? October 29th, go to sorbostudios.com for all information, tickets, trailer, everything. Yep, We're you can get, get tickets now and show you what theater. Just put in your zip code. It shows you what theater is near you. And well, we'll see you at the popcorn. That's it's right. going to be so much fun. We have all that information at allindiana.tv. Guys, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us today. We certainly appreciate it. Pleasure. Thanks, Thanks for, your for time. having us.